Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma and I'm glad to have you on my channel today. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, hello. If you've been an L subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. Okay guys, today I've come to teach you a beautiful benefit of purple leaves against witches. This recipe is one of the secrets that our forefathers used to take care of themselves spiritually. This is not going to work for only witches. It works for any unclean spirit. It works for evil spirits. It works for spiritual attacks. If someone sends anything to you, it will bounce back. This herb will make it to be invincible to the spirits. It will make you to be invincible to the witches and wizards. Wherever they are, they want to mention your name. They will have problems within themselves. Yes. Now, now, this leaf, when you do as I am going to teach you, it will make you to be in invincible. Whenever you feel you are traveling to a place where you suspect that people are going to attack you, Go inside your house, use the sleeve before you go to anywhere. This is none other than purple leaves. Purple leaves. Guys, are you not amazed? Purple leaves. Are you surprised? Yes. I know you will be. You will be. But remember, what we reveal on this channel is the secrets of our forefathers. Our forefathers were so wise. They did a lot of research locally, not with the internet. They did a lot of research. And all the things they found out is what we are trying to bring back. All right? They were using it during that time to take care of themselves. They passed it down to some of us. Okay? Yes. So today, I want to teach you the spiritual benefits of purple leaves. These purple leaves, if you have it in your compound or in your village, then you are very lucky. You must be very lucky to have this. Seriously, guys, I am lucky because I also have it, right? There are so many herbs that we are yet to talk about, as you see here. And I'm going to reveal it to you right now. Okay? Sorry, that was a call. Don't bother. <laughs> Gather as much as you can, all right? And dry this leaf, this purple leaves. Dry it under the sun, okay? Dry it under the sun. When it has dried, start smoking this thing in your house. Start smoking this leaves. Start smoking it in your house, guys. Burn it as an incense. If you're a guy here, do you let me even tell you guys, do you know that? Do you know that? For spiritual purposes, you can know for spiritual purposes. I'm not saying for the fun of it. Because when you smoke this, there did not in fact that earth, no, no evil spirit will cross your home. No evil spirit will attack you. As you are doing it, make sure that the if you're smoking it, if you're using the burner to burn it. Make sure that the smoke circulates in your environment. Also, make sure that it touches your body. If you're going to smoke it, that means you the the the, 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 the gather the ashes, gather the ashes and pour it all over your body. Pour it all over your body. You must be doing this at night when you are just going to go to bed, my dear. If you continue to do this for fourteen days evil spirits will be far away from you. They will run. By the time they notice that you are smoking this around, they, they are very, very afraid of this plant. The dry one is what you can do. That's when you finish drying it under the sun. Use your hand or you can pound it to be in, to be in a powdered form. But I'm just talking about if you want to be out of spiritual issues. Some people do it. But I'm not encouraging you to smoke it. I'm encouraging you to do it. Use the burner to burn it. 
all right let it circulate in your environment the ashes you pour it on your body let me even tell you something in the olden days our forefathers when they want to go into the bush and they notice there are evil spirits there what they use is this one of the things they use in preparing their herbs that they have to protect themselves is this the dry one after pounding it they will put it burn it after burning it some of them can smoke it after smoking it after burning it then they will do what they will pour it all over their body from head to toe from head to toe before they will proceed inside the bush or inside the forest if someone has taken you to swear an oath before a deity and you know that your hands are clean and you don't want them you might be thinking that maybe there is a manipulation or maybe the custodian has done something so that the, the thing will work against you go and get this purple leaves smoke it like i have told you and pour the ash on your body you are living there as a free man or woman as long as your hands are clean as long as your hands are clean you are going to return back victorious and a free man or woman this is the secret of our forefathers you can pour the ashes of this in front of your house mix it with salt and pour it to the entrance of your home it will protect your home from evil attacks people that have done charms to you this will destroy it people that have sworn that you are not going to succeed break that curse break that evil eye stop that evil eye from following you using this very very effective just purple leaves as much as you can there is no number anyone you know that will be enough for you you can do this from from time to time so that you can you, you can sanitize your environment so that your home will be free from evil spirits if you are always doing this they cannot succeed in bringing you down spiritually if they mention your name in any odd place you will not appear if they call you a mirror you will not appear your face will break the mirror into pieces because they are afraid of this natural help i'm telling you this secret that i'm sharing with you go and give it a shot let me tell you that there are so many other things you can achieve with this but i don't want to share it here why do i withhold such information because of the evil ones the enemies might use it imagine me teaching somebody how to someone will use it to go and um, to go for um, robbery to rob people innocent people or they will use it to go and you know do some kind of commit some atrocities and all that commit some kind of crime i mean that is wrong so this is why i do not come here and put up these things i have to i really have to make sure that i am teaching you the ones that you will be able to make use of and you are not going to be hurting anyone we are here for the light and not for darkness okay guys thank you very much i still remain your one and only omar god bless you all and do have a wonderful day bye